OK, so we're, we're going to put out a fire. Okay. So we need a fire. So we're going to have a controlled fire in this candle. Let me just light this. Now, fire needs two things. It needs a source and it needs oxygen. So if you take away one of those two things, there's no fire. The best way to do it is to remove the oxygen. And so if I replace the oxygen and the nitrogen with carbon dioxide, the fire can't breathe. So we're going to make some carbon dioxide and okay. pour the carbon dioxide on there. So okay. we're going to do that with two things that you have in your house. Vinegar. Any vinegar will do. Vinegar is an acid. Vinegar is just the easiest one. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pour some into... So pour in it let's pour it in this bottle. I'm going to try this bottle. Okay. okay. So I spilled a little bit. That's okay. So that, I just need a little bit of vinegar. Okay. Now pour some baking soda in there. Okay. How much? It doesn't matter. <laughs> just a little bit. It's fine. As long as it starts fizzing. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. So you'll see all the bubbles in there. Right. The baking soda is reacting with the vinegar and it produces carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide goes up here and it fills up the bottle. You can't tell because it looks like air, but there's carbon dioxide in there. Okay. So now take the bottle gently and pretend like there's water, but don't pour the water, just pour the gas on top. A little bit more, that's it. You just extinguish the fire with carbon dioxide. That is great. Yeah. So if you want to do this, it's nice to have a candle that's recessed like this so that the right. carbon dioxide gets captured in the glass the and then it, it doesn't have any oxygen to go. Wow, okay. That's a good one. Okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, so we're going to make a magnetic compass and we're gonna use a paper clip. Cause you know MacGyver, he loves paper clips, right? Yes. Okay, we're gonna use a paper clip and a magnet and something to make the paper clip float. So you ready? Ready. Okay, so you, do you think you can straighten that paper clip out? Cause that's, you okay. know, MacGyver's excellent. That's the MacGyver excellent. thing. Yeah, he's excellent at making shapes with paper clips. Okay. So the paper clip is made out of steel and that's a ferromagnetic material. And those have magnetic domains in there and you can actually turn it into a magnet. Mm, okay. This is a magnet from a hard drive. I took it out of, it was like a 10 gigabyte hard drive, which is pretty much pointless to have, but it does have nice magnets in there. So what we're going to do is take this and just rub it the length, slowly rub it the length of the paper clip. There you go. Now push the paper clip all the way through. Keep going all the way. And now do it one more time. You want to go the same direction each time. You're aligning these magnet, magnetic domains in the paper clip. So now this acts like a magnet. It's not very strong, but it is a magnet. Now, I want it to be able to interact with the Earth's magnetic field, so it needs to be able to rotate. We're going to, to make it happen, we're going to let it float with this cork. Okay. So you could get anything that floats, but let's just tape this. And now you want to put it in the, the beaker. And, and give it a little spin and let's just see where it, where it ends up. And you'll notice it keeps on rotating until it ends up aligning with the Earth's magnetic field. And then it's going to point north and south. See, so now it kind of stopped. And that is north. That, that actually it stopped. It's coming back this way. It got stuck on the side. You want to have, it, have some room so it can rotate around. But there you go. It's aligning with the Earth's magnetic field. So we are going to build an LED flashlight. This is an LED, which is a light emitting diode. Uh, there, you find these everywhere. Uh, they're great lights. They're really easy to use. Uh, now, there are a couple things that you have to know about them. Mm -hmm. First, it has a positive and a negative side. You can't, you can't do it anyway. So the longer, see it's got two? Right. The longer one is positive. See that longer okay. one? Okay. Yeah. So this one runs on 1.7 volts, so you can't hook it up to a normal battery. Uh, this is a button cell battery that says it's um, two. 2.5. Okay. Yeah. So this actually is too much, but it will work. So we're going to, the, the simplest version of this is one that you should try, and I'm going to let you do it. You want to have this touch the positive side of the battery, that's the negative side, and just hold it on there and see if you can get that to light. Make sure you use the positive on the, the that's on the, the positive side, You're right. And you have to squeeze it together with your fingers. Oh, there you got yeah. it. There, you did it. There's your flashlight. Oh, no. What do you think? Mini flashlight. Right. But we can make it more complicated if you want to. Sure. By putting a little switch. Let's okay. MacGyver it. We're going to MacGyver it. That's right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to uh, attach these wires to okay. that. So let's just put this one on the bottom and this one on the top, and we can duct tape it. Make sure the metal touches metal. And then tape that one to the top. Okay. Nothing wrong with tape and stuff, right? Now, for the switch, this is my favorite MacGyver switch. 
So we're going to use paper clips. <laughs> so I'm going to bend this paper clip up. Okay. And I'm going to have that paper clip. So I'm going to take this one and connect there. And then I'm going to take this one, connect there. OK, so this one is uh, the positive side. So let's connect this to the negative. OK, it will light up, right? And let's get one more wire so we can have it with our switch. Yeah, it should light up. So if I take this, and we should light up. There you go. Right, you now, the positive and negative charge. That's right. So now what we're going to do is make this a switch. So now I'm going to tape this onto this stick to make my switch. And I'm going to put a piece of tape over it, just like that. Now I'm going to take my other paper clip and put it right there. So it's on the tape, so it doesn't make a connection. Now I'm going to tape this one on top of it. Okay, there's my switch. Now I can, I can pick this up. I can tape everything else on there, too. When I push this down, it turns oh, on wow. and off. So I just made a very simple switch out of paper clips to turn on the LED light. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And you can make a flashlight out of this if you want. Uh, it's fun, right? And it sees in the dark. Okay, so we're going to build a speaker out of just this stuff. Now, the only thing that you may have trouble finding is I have a really strong magnet here. Um, but you can use weaker magnets. It just won't be as loud. So the idea is that if we run current through this loop of wire, it makes a magnetic field. And if that magnetic field interacts with the magnet, it will move back and forth. And if I put this on top of it, it will push the air and make sound. So we're going to make, we're going to do that. Take the loop of wire okay. and then tape it to the, to okay. the cup. So here's a okay. piece of tape, more tape. Mm, nice and tight. You can use as much tape as you want. Just like Yeah, like that's this. good. Perfect. Okay. Maybe another one on the other side just to make sure it's tight. Okay. Oops. Like that. Good job. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is take these two mm -hmm. and connect them to the uh, earphone jack that I cut off. So I have two wires there. We want to connect them with these clips. So go ahead and connect that up. Okay. And so and connect that to either one of those. To either one. Yep. All right. So what is this wire actually? This wire is the current that comes out of the audio source that powers the speaker. Okay. Um, okay. And then, and then that's that one. to the other two right. wires. Right there. Okay. Make sure you get the is metal. Is it both of them? Yeah, that's fine. Both of okay. them or one, but these are okay. both. I just want to make sure it's not on the rubber. Okay. Now we're going to take this and put it on top of the magnet. Just turn it upside down and, and just, just hold it right there. It? Okay. Okay. Now that's the only step left is to plug it in. Now I'm going to plug this in and we will play. Okay. Now hold it up a little bit, off a little bit. Okay. And put your your ear over and let's see if it says any. Makes any noise. I hear the MacGyver theme. <laughs>